Hello and welcome to IB Times TV. I'm Marisa Christian. NASA is on a quest to better understand the behavior of fire in space. Since March of 2009, NASA's Flame Extinguishment Experiment, or FLEX, has conducted more than 200 tests to better understand the fundamentals of flames and the best way to control and suppress fire in space. While flames can be put out on Earth with water and maybe a few chemicals, in space with no gravity, flames behave in very unconventional ways. It's crucial for the crew living on the International Space Station to better understand the behavior of fire because even putting out a small Small fire in space quickly becomes a matter of life and death. In order to conduct their experiments, flex researchers ignite small drops of either methanol or heptane. These tiny spheres of fuel engulfed by a perfectly symmetrical flame burn for roughly 20 seconds until the fuel runs out. In space, flames burn at a lower rate with a lower temperature and with less oxygen than in normal gravity. In this just released video, you can see footage shot by the camera in the NASA Glenn designed and built Combustion Integrated Rack, or CIR, which is located in the U.S. Destiny Laboratory module of the space station. These studies contribute to fire safety research and the more fundamental science research of combustion. The investigation is ongoing aboard the space station. When asked about the station's discoveries thus far, Foreman Williams, the principal investigator, said, quote, The most surprising thing we've observed is continued apparent burning of heptane droplets after flame extinction under certain conditions. Currently, this is entirely unexplained. Marisa Christian, IB Times TV. There's no up or down in space, of course. So how can anything burn up? NASA's Flame Extinguishment Experiment, or FLEX, has been probing the behavior of fire in the microgravity of space to learn how to best suppress flame. After some 200 experiments, researchers have learned that fire in space can start at lower temperatures and flare up in less oxygen than here on the surface of the Earth. And in a so far totally unexplained phenomenon, droplets of methanol continue to burn even after all flames have been extinguished. And the same thing happens with heptane. Clearly, Flex has some burning questions yet to solve. For Space.com, I'm Dave Brody. Space.com.
sound wave with this kind of instrument.